Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to discuss one more common interview question we, ge we generally get as an automation tester, which is how to reverse a number using concept whatever you know. So let us begin our lecture. For that particular reverse a number, we require some basic steps. Few basic steps we will get to know, then afterwards it would be easy for us to do the coding. So let us understand the basics first. First basic we need to understand is how to get a remainder. For this particular number 743, if we do percentile of 10, you would get the remainder which is 3. One more concept we require is how to get the quotient which would be 743 divided by 10. So you would get quotient as 74. Only these two steps are required to solve our purpose. And one more step will be there, which we need to understand, which we will understand in, in our coding itself. So let us begin our coding. So for this particular thing, first thing what I need to do, I need to declare a empty, empty variable reverse equal to zero semicolon and what two steps or what two basics we understood first basic was to get the remainder for getting that remainder what we did we divided using percentile 10 semicolon and one more thing we understood that n divided by 10 semicolon it would give us the quotient for now bear with me i will make you understand why i am doing this thing n equal to n by 10. Only this much we require from our basics, whatever we understood. And one more thing we, we need to understand that we would require a loop. Generally, whatever solutions we get in, in uh, net or in any videos, we will get to know that we require while n not equal to not equal to 0 and we will solve our, our thing. But for now, I will comment it out and tell without using this while loop also, we can proceed with our coding. So instead of this while loop, I will use for loop because from past few lectures, I am telling you the use of for loop. So I will use this for loop itself. And at last, I will tell why while loop is required instead of this for loop. So for this, I will use int i equal to zero semicolon i less than equal to 2 semicolon i plus plus. For now, kindly bear with me why I am doing, why I am using this 2 instead of any variable itself. I will make you understand at last. And I need to close these curly braces to solve our code. So you understood that we use these two lines remainder and n and apart from this we would require one more line which would which I would tell afterwards. So first of all understand this remainder thing and this n equal to n by 10 why these steps are required. For getting this 743 reversed means if I want to have a reverse of this number what I require. I require this last digit itself. First of all, I require this last digit, which is three. And how I can get this last digit? I can get by using this remainder concept, which is n percentile of 10. If I will do 743, 743, 743 percentile of 10, percent, percentile of 10. So what I would get? I would get three. Again, if I would divide this 74 percentile of 10, what would I get as a remainder? I would get remainder as 4. Again, if I divide this 7 percentile of 10, what I would get as a remainder? I would get 7. So I think by getting into this line itself, you understood why these two lines are required. This line is required to get the last digit. Yeah. And this n equal to n by 10 is required to reduce this 
थ्री डिजिट थ्री डिजिट नंबर ई स्टेप मीन सपोज सेवन फोर्टी थ्री इज देयर इफ आई विल डिवाइड बाय टेन सो इट वुड बिकम सेवेंटी फोर इन नेक्स्ट स्टेप इफ आई वुड डिवाइड सेवेंटी फोर इट वुड बी रिड्यूस टू सेवन so in this way i will get the last digit whatever is required to get our reverse thing but till now we only are getting the digits 3 4 and 7 but how i would be able to get it in combined manner we will use a concept which we need to memorize which is reverse equal to digit which is remainder plus reverse into 10 only this much you need to memorize even you do not require to memorize this while n n not equal to 0 i will tell why n not equal to 0 will be required so for this you can understand even i am trying to make you understand why i am writing this one reverse equal to re rem remainder plus reverse into 10 what what would happen for first first loop means i equal to 0 when i equal to 0 we divided n which is 743 743 percentile 10 is giving me what it is giving me 3 it is giving me 3 so for the first loop it is giving me 3 so what would be the reverse reverse would be 3 equal to it would be 3 equal to i'm telling you reverse we equal to 3 plus reverse is what reverse is 0 because we have declared it as 0 0 into 10 so it would give us 3 for the first time itself and when we divide this n slash 10 so it would give what it would go give 743 743 divided by 10 equal to 74 so for the next loop itself when i equal to 1 when i equal to 1 equal to 1 this time what what is happening remainder equal to 74 divided 74 percentile of 10 so 74 percentile of 10 is what 74 percentile of 10 would give me 4 you got my point in the previous step re reverse is what 3 so i will use this concept again remainder here is 4 so i will type 4 plus reverse is what 3 from the past past step 3 into into 10 so what i i i would get i would get 30 plus 4 which would be 34 so i am getting 34 again n equal to what n is 74 so 74 divided by 10 will give me what 74 divided by 10 will give me 7 so similarly at the last step when i equal to i equal to 2 at that step at that step remainder is what remainder is 7 and the reverse would be what reverse would be 3 4 3 4 into 10 plus what is the last remainder which is 7 so it would give me 3 47 and at last when i will divide this 7 by 10 it would give me quotient as 0 so at last n will be equal to 0 from this line itself you will get to understand that if i will use while n n not equal to 0 it will solve my purpose how let us first print this output and you will get to know why this thing is required so in so i will try to print this reverse let us print that reverse itself whatever i am getting so i am just putting this reverse outside this one and i will use this thing and run it whenever i will run it it is giving me some compiler er um, compilation error what what is the error let us try to solve it remainder equal to n percentile 
yeah because i haven't initialized this remainder so i need to initialize it so i will write int remainder equal to n percentile of 10 again try to run it yeah you are getting the reverse output which would be 347 again one more thing i would like to highlight here you can see it here that the the value of n has become zero after each step again let us focus on this particular step 7432 and try it again to run try it to run and you will get to know that the reverse is 234 which is not correct which is not correct but how i can manage with this for loop i can increase this i equal to 3 and try to run it and you will get the correct reverse of this particular number so you will get 2347 you are getting 2437 again if you increase this number one more digit and if you will increase this i equal to 4 and try to run it you will again get the desired output which, which would be 52347 but as a coder we need to we need to generate a code in a generic way which because we do not want to change line by line means if we are creating a solution it should be generic so instead of this for loop we can have a while loop where we can tell that we have to complete our code at what time we had we have to complete our code whenever n becomes zero so we have to tell until n equal to zero we have to do our coding after n become zero you have to stop the coding and print the result for that reason itself we do not use for loop instead we use what we use while loop so and we will try it again and run it and we will get the accurate output without bothering about the for loop and what should be the value of i so i think i am able to make you understand this concept why this while n not e n not equal to zero is required instead of this for loop because as a as a coder i do not want to make you remember any single line why this while loop is required no one is telling so i try to think and tell why this while loop is required instead of this for loop whichever we are using from our past few lectures so hope i i made you understand this concept if you like my content please like this video and kindly subscribe my channel to motivate me to create such more videos in future thanks a lot Bye-bye.